they look. And today I'm going to learn how to make top te for my mom. Uh, once when I was living in America, I made top te once, not properly though, and my foreigner friends all loved it. So today I'm going to learn properly how to make top te for my mom. So I'm gonna do some shopping now, grocery shopping. Let's go. So we're gonna buy some spinach. And some carrots as well. We will going to need some mushrooms as well. Wow, this is a lot. Onions. Now we're gonna need some sesame oil and then cellophane noodles, which is the main ingredient of tak te. My mom said this is fine. So, mm -hmm. our main ingredients. Okay, I think we're all set. Yeah. All right, we're now all set. Oh my god, this is so heavy. Hey guys, so I'm back to my studio and I'm going to start cooking. First, let's put out all the ingredients that are bought. Guys, the ingredients are ready. Look at these. They look really fresh and healthy. And these are the sauce that we need. I'm going to wash these. And my mom told me that the thing about Korean food is that it's all about preparing the ingredients. It doesn't take a long time to cook the food, but um, preparing the ingredients might take some time. So I'm going to wash these now. Onions. Finish washing all the ingredients. Soakum, salt. Ready as well, so before actually boiling the noodles, you need to put it in the water and set it for 30 minutes. And I'm going to um, boil the spinach as well, so I'm boiling the water. <gasps> Guys, the water is now boiling, so I'm going to put some salt in it and then the spinach. The spinach is ready. So I'm gonna pour out the water and leave just leave. It. noodles after it's boiled and you wash it with cold water once. Spinach. I put it here and with a little 
little bit of salt mm -hmm. and then some sesame oil. Good job. And then I'm going to do this uh, seasoned. Guys, now it is the fun part. It's the last part. Now I'm going to mix everything we cut together. So the noodles first, I'm going to put it in. And you need to season the noodles. So I'm going to put some soy sauce and also some sesame oil. Mm -hmm. And mix it. Ooh, it's becoming the color of japche. And now I'm going to mix these and everything. Oh my god, the bowl is too small for mixing everything, but I got the <laughs> biggest bowl I can get. So now you just gotta mix everything up. Why not? Okay, now I'm gonna taste it to see if it's well done. Mm. Last part, plating. So I'm going to put the top tier that I made to this dish. Okay. Mm. This is it. This is the top tier, guys. My homemade chapche, how do you like it? I learned how to make chapche properly from my mom and it feels great because I mean before when I made chapche I thought okay I think I made it but um, it didn't seem right but now I know how to make chapche and one thing I want to tell you is many people um, outside of Korea think this is a meal but this is not a meal meal we eat it with rice. So this is a pantan, a side dish uh, that we eat with our main dish, with our rice and our soup and kimchi and everything. So that's what I wanted to tell you. This is the finished plating with chapche, some kimbap and some rice cake. Hey guys, so this was how to make chapche. I showed you the process and all the ingredients. So um, I recommend you trying this at home, invite friends, and enjoy this food all together. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and this was Making Chapte. Bye!